I care about that young guy. Uh, he's a 38, but he's a young guy in my mind. And uh, I'm glad he's on our football team, and uh, he'll always be remembered. Head coach Chris Jones has been quick to credit Kevin Glenn for the success the Riders had in 2017 and for making it as far as they did. But in the Eastern final, quarterbacking was their undoing, with Glenn throwing three interceptions, digging too deep a hole for the team to get out of. Again, Kevin and I will sit down and, and decide exactly what the path is soon. Statistically speaking, 2017 was one of Glenn's better campaigns in his 17-year career, passing for more than 4,000 yards and 25 touchdowns. But the only thing still missing from his Hall of Fame caliber career is a Grey Cup championship. If I didn't believe that 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 I that I'm able to play at this high level, I wouldn't be playing. You know, I would I would say, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit this one out. You know, <laughs> it's, it's enough of this. So. Um, I most definitely have, have uh, confidence in myself, and I think other people do too. But how far can a team go with a quarterback who will be 39 before the 2018 season opener? Some have said when Brandon Bridge took over in the second half in Toronto, it symbolized the passing of the torch from the Riders' number one quarterback to his successor. If you've covered my 17-year career, you've understood that it didn't matter where I was at, one, two, or three, that I was always about the team. I, I think I definitely raised like, some eyebrows with like my gameplay. Um, all you need is like an opportunity in life. The Canadian-born Bridge, who showed flashes of brilliance this season, has already started negotiations with the Riders on a new contract. But is he the one the Riders can stick a franchise quarterback label on? Since Chris Jones left Edmonton and came to Saskatchewan two years ago, he has never publicly mentioned the name James Franklin, but it's been assumed he covets the Eskimos soon to be free agent. Jones brought Franklin into the league in 2015 and probably would now love to bring him here. It would be logical for Franklin, too, who would be stuck behind Mike Riley on the Eskimos death chart for the foreseeable future. Like it is for Chris Jones, the team may not be playing, but the football season is never-ending in Saskatchewan. Glenn Reed, CBC News, Regina.